So welcome. Uh, my name is Jennifer Bannon, and I'm the Director of Admissions here at the Functional Medicine Coaching Academy. I'm very happy to be here with you today. Uh, joining me are members of the admissions team, Manaz Malik and Shelly Phillips. Thank you for taking the time to join us, whether you're watching us live or watching the recording. We want to spend this time together telling you a bit about us and also support you by letting you know about peers in your region, as well as an exciting organization that's local to you. We at FMCA are strong proponents of the idea that coaches are the future of healthcare, which is why the Functional Medicine Coaching Academy was founded with the Institute for Functional Medicine over five years ago. In a world that's seeing a large increase in chronic illness, there's a new model that's catching on, and that's a doctor working with a health coach. Doctors are bringing in coaches, but others in the healthcare arena are also bringing in coaches. We're seeing growth in corporate wellness and the private sector. Health coaches are needed. Why? Because the model works. FMCA coaches are trained to work closely with clients around all of the modifiable lifestyle factors that influence health, such as sleep, relaxation, exercise, movement, nutrition, stress, and relationship. Our graduates gain a solid understanding of the foundations of functional medicine and its root cause analysis approach. They are fully trained to utilize many of the IFM resources, such as the timeline, matrix, and food plans. This background allows them to understand and with the addition of their coaching skills, support the client to implement functional medicine treatment plans into their lifestyle. A health coach moves beyond the diagnosis prescription model to co-create and execute a plan with the client that inspires them to a path of better health. Additionally, under the delegation of the treating practitioner, a functional medicine health coach may be able to provide further assistance related to labs and supplements. A functional health medicine health coach does not assess, prescribe, diagnose, treat, or interpret results. Our graduate skills are applicable to all types of practitioners, from nutritionists to naturopaths and integrative doctors. We are the magic ingredient in the area of behavior change. Our course is 12 months based on a series of learning modules. Content is uploaded onto an online educational platform called Canvas. You go through the program with a small group or cohort of fellow students guided by a course facilitator. Three times a month at a time you self-select, you'll meet together on Zoom video conferencing to go over the material being covered and practice the coaching concepts being taught. We encourage you to spend time on our website for more information, download our info packet for details about continuing education and other particulars, and then schedule a call with a member of our admissions team. We've just opened our enrollment for our March 2021 class. We'll touch more on that later in the webinar. We welcome students from a variety of backgrounds, not just in healthcare. And without further delay, I want to introduce you to Manaz and Shelly, who are both members of the admissions team. And we're just checking in. Do we have Shelly? Manas, do we have Shelly? Um, I don't think we have Shelly yet. Hopefully she'll, okay. she'll join us soon. Okay. All righty. So in lieu of Shelly, who will be here soon, we hope, um, I'd like next to introduce you to Manaz, who's from the UK and lives in Saudi Arabia and was in the July 2016 class. Manaz wears many hats. She's a course facilitator, admissions team member, and our international relations coordinator. In her role as an international relations coordinator, she supports our international community in many ways. I'll turn things over to Manaz now. Thanks, Jen. Um, it's such a pleasure to welcome you all today. As um, Jen just mentioned, I'm FMCA's international relations coordinator, and I have the privilege of serving and supporting um, the forward-thinking, pioneering, and mission-driven international community of students that join FMCA. I actually find it personally really exciting to support the connection between graduates by facilitating the set setting up of regional support groups. So these exceptional individuals are creating and driving positive change in health and wellness in their communities around the world. And among them are the founders of Hakanza, Linda Funnell Milner and Samantha McBride, 
who were also very proud are um, uh, happen to be FMCA graduates as well. So I'll start with Linda. Linda um, works as a consulting nutritionist. Um, she's a health coach, a functional medicine certified health coach and clinical hypnotherapist in a medical practice. She currently holds a non-executive director board position with <laughs> the Australasian Integrative Medicine Association. She's a member of the Australasian College of Environmental Medicine and Australian Traditional Medicine Society. So Linda, we have a, a lovely growing community of graduates in Australia. Please tell us about Hakanza's work. Well, Hakanza, um, uh, Thanks so much for inviting me, Manaz and, and Jen. It's a pleasure to be here and uh, to join my other FMCA co-graduates. Um, look, Hakanza um, started, was started by function, uh, FMCA graduates in Australia, but it is a health coach association. So we are growing and we obviously we do have other graduates from other programs as long as they meet the NBHWC standard. So they're still meeting that very high standard that FMCA sit, um, sets, which is wonderful. But it really was um, a, a collaboration where we just felt we need an industry standard in Australia so that the professionalism um, is recognised that this is a growing industry. We're a few years behind America and the UK, but definitely is a, a massively growing industry in Australia and New Zealand. And um, so Sam is on, my, on the board for cancer as well. And, um, yeah, so our, our job is really to reach out to our stakeholders, which includes governments, medical associations, um, complementary health associations, consumer groups, so consumers of health, and corporate wellness programs, and make sure that they understand and know that we have um, a number, you know, we're up to 53 coaches, professional coaches now, and, um, and that, you know, we're here to serve and meet our purpose of helping people to be the best version of themselves. So that's what Hakans is really about, setting the standard and helping the coaches, you know, find a way into the type of business they want to be in. That's really inspiring to hear, Linda. So as an organisation, you're committed to advocating and embedding professional industry standards for health and wellness coaching in Australia and New Zealand, as you've just stated. What would you say are the qualities of FMCA trained coaches specifically that support this vision? I think, well, I am an FMCA graduate, so I'm a little bit um, biased. Um, I definitely think that uh, what FMCA really teaches you from the very beginning that is so important is the scope of practice, the uh, code of conduct, and really helped me to differentiate and many other people who come into health coaching from a technical expertise background. But FMCA really helps you understand the way in which to be not a technical expert, to be a guide by the side of the patient. And in that way, really deliver patient-centred and patient-led care. And that is the um, that is you know the wonderful thing about the FMCA course uh, that I really really loved, and also I mean the functional medicine um, approach or lens to looking at people holistically through every aspect of their environment and and every way they interact with those environments, and the importance of um, clients and. Uh, patients actually understanding that it's not just one thing, but it's their it's their entire uh, lifestyle behaviour that really matters. And I think um, FMCA course is just brilliant at that, at those things. Well, thank you, Linda. And I think that really is the differentiating factor when it comes to our collaboration with the Institute for Functional Medicine, which really is the global standard um, that the gold standard globally when it comes to functional medicine education. 
So um, what would you say to those here today that are considering taking the FMCA certification? What do you feel they really need to know? I think you really need to know that you're in good hands and that the, um, the course that you're about to embark on is, um, has value beyond the dollar that you pay. Um, the networks that you'll make and the friendships um, uh, last forever. Um, I actually graduated in 2017 and with 17 other people in Australia and New Zealand and we are still all in a very, very tight network. And that is an, that's a support um, throughout our businesses um, that you that is just priceless in terms of um, doing the FMCA course. You really work together so closely and respectfully, and it's very much a um, a growth journey for yourself and for those that you that you're um, that you're working with. Um, and that you, you touched on something. Do you mind if I ask you to just share when you first started um, about that first exercise that you assignment about a vision? Um, I'd love to hear that quickly as well, if possible. Uh, as to where I would be in 10 years, is that yeah. the, the one? Yeah. Do, is that still on one of the questions you have to ask? Yes. Well, funnily yes. enough, um, not only did I... Um, say, well, in 10 years' time, there will be an industry association and it will be recognised as a profession, but apparently me with three others from FMCA have, try, have all been working to make that happen. So it's um, setting that a vision is incredibly important and um, really putting it out there and just watch, watching the universe open, open up those opportunities. Mm. Yeah. Oh, thank you for sharing that, Linda. It gives me goosebumps to think that you actually made that vision and, and so much faster <laughs> and it's well on its way. Um, I'll come back to you um, uh, right at, um, at the end when we're asking the others. And I'll go on to Samantha now. So um, Samantha McBride is a functional medicine certified health coach and she is the owner of Live Me Well. So Samantha, would you please share, as well as obviously being the founder, co-founder of the Cancer, um, please share about the growth of health coaching in New Zealand? Um, well, we've got a really double-edged sword over here in New Zealand at the moment um, because health coach, the name is becoming part of everyday life with um, the government have uh, started putting health coaches into medical centers and that's being rolled out at the moment and they work alongside um, normally a, a, a mental health professional um, to help people with chronic disease there, there's certainly a mental health bias there but um so so the name health coaches is becoming more and more um sort of talked about in New Zealand unfortunately their um their uh, analysis of a health coach and ours are quite, quite different. Um, and so um, you don't need to have um, necessarily a recognized health coach qualification. You can go and get trained basically um, for a weekend with somebody with a bit of knowledge or a little bit of experience can actually end up in that role. So it is a double-edged sword. Um, I guess the best thing we can do is, um, and, and this is something that we're looking with the association is we'll start to go and talk to government about what the difference between their health coaches and our ones are. And I, the best thing I think is that we try and get people qualified into those jobs so they can actually coach people instead of following a, a format. That's a pretty huge ask and we've just got a new or a new government, same government, but new government in. So, um, but these are areas that I think that, that um, we need to add value. So whilst we've got that advantage that people think we're really advanced in the fact that health coaches are being put in medical centres, unless we can somehow get those health coaches um, making sure they're getting offered those roles, um, it, it's not necessarily going to um, be the exposure as an association that we would necessarily want or like, because those people are, in fact, I've just been on their website looking and, you know, and, and there's no motivational interviewing even in that first two or three days courses. So they are really following, um, you know, a, 
um, they're following a script really um, rather than, and whilst it's really good to sit down and give people goals and things like that, it's kind of missing out a lot of those really crucial meeting people where they're at, um, you know, developing plans. And, and we're still talking 15 minute, half hour visits and we're still talking only one or two. So there's still a lot of work to be done, but it is nice that the name is, 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 is coming out there. And, and I guess then as, as an association, we've got a pretty tough job to try and make sure that that name's getting um, put out in the right area. That, that's extremely important work. That's really crucial. And um, so um, her cancer has, has a lot cut out for women, hopefully. Uh, and, you know, knowing the way that Linda is um, setting off, you know, doing all of this work, that that will um, come about. Um, we've got uh, a lot of hope in you regarding that. Um, would you be able to also touch on the importance of your work in rural and remote communities? Um, so, I mean, I, I live um, two hours from my closest hospital, which is a pretty small hospital, um, and um, I'm working mainly face-to-face. Um, -face. I do a little bit of online work at the moment with, with people in that area. Um, I guess, that, I mean, it, it's just, it's the whole thing of coaching with, you know, actually working um, either reversing chronic disease or prevention of chronic disease is so crucial for people that don't have easy access to, to um, large scale medical um, units in their vicinity. You know, for, and for us, you know, and any trip to the, to the hospital is going to be at least, at least a six, seven hour round trip. Um, you know, mm -hmm. e even for a really, you know, small incidental, um, you know, 15 minute consult, you're still ending up doing that. We, we really have very few people coming through to where we're actually to meet us. So it's really important that people take um, a little bit more responsibility of their health. And by doing that, um, actually getting people to go to the medical center and get screened, is very much where I, um, that's where my passion lies, I guess. So I'm looking to get things online now so that, so that people that aren't too far down the track actually start to take stock and start to be able to um, actually make some changes in their life to help prevent chronic disease because otherwise I don't see how our systems our systems are, are full to bursting anyway I don't see how in any other way that, that it's going to be managed and of course it's going to be just as relevant in the big cities as as um as it is rurally but I'm based for rural, rurally so, so I've got a bigger passion I guess for that because I see it firsthand and it just highlights all the, the um the benefits of health coaching and health coaches in general um, yeah I wish you all the best with what you're doing with um, cancer, you know, um, and New Zealand together, working together to be able to achieve what you're trying to do, especially with um, talks with government and getting them to recognise what health coaching really is. Um, so thank you. Thank you for that. Um, Charlene, let me uh, get on to Charlene now. Um, Charlene Harvey is a mother of two teenagers. She's working at Melbourne Functional Medicine while maintaining a small home private practice and, stud and also studying a Bachelor of Health Science at Torrens University. It sounds like you've got a lot going on. <laughs> yes, I do. Thanks very much for having me. You're welcome. Um, so there was uh, something special um, regarding your journey. You experienced a journey with your son's health that gave you the passion to follow your path to functional medicine coaching. Would you please share what it means to you to work with a functional medicine doctor, uh, you know, a functional medicine provider in his clinic? Yeah. So um, I guess in answer to your first question, um, I was definitely prompted or propelled into the functional medicine world when my son was diagnosed with a, um, an autoimmune condition called eosinophilic esophagitis. Um, and navigating the healthcare system here in Australia was uh, quite tough um, with not a whole lot of support uh, and uh, functional medicine for me and for my son um, has meant that he has not had to uh, go down the lines of uh, a lifelong um, steroidal treatments and gen regular general anaesthetics and things like that. 
Um, as far as working with a functional medicine practitioner, I can kind of speak to what you were saying before um, about the Institute, the Institute of Functional Medicine kind of being the gold standard of functional medicine training. Um, the naturopathic practitioner that I work with, um, he trained at the Institute of Functional Medicine. And when I first did an observation, uh, he does four hour um, initial appointments with, with our patients. Um, when I sat in, in that first appointment, it really pulled together for me all of the learning that I did throughout the 12 months at FMCA um, and, and really put me alongside exactly what he was doing as a practitioner. So um, to see that firsthand is, is really quite special. Um, it's, it's definitely quite different working with a practitioner than it is working on your own as a health coach because uh, I guess you've got a little bit more uh, flexibility with how you can delve in um, to people's um, treatment plans and things like that because you've got a practitioner there working with you and it's a, a bit of a collaborative approach to care. Um, you've got the factor of implement, helping the patient to implement a treatment plan um, that is, is based on functional medicine principles uh, along with functional medicine testing. Um, and you've also got um, the coaching side of it, the behaviour change and um, and the getting them into um, a, a, this maintenance phase of, of health. And really, you just need to have a look at the, the reviews online to, to see how well that's working for our patients here in Oz. Well, Charlene, first of all, I have to say um, you, you did so well to think out of the box and search for someone else, you know, search out of that, um, you know, the answers that you were given and you kept learning and you had that love of learning and obviously mm -hmm. came to FMCA because of that. And, um, you know, it's a testament what you're saying, how uh, your uh, Dr. Dave, that you, uh, the, um, the, the practitioner that you work with, um, did that for you um, moving forward. Um, I think something that people find really interesting all the time is to know what a typical encounter with a patient would look like um, in your functional medicine certified health coach role. Um, I know you mentioned something a little bit exciting um, before we came on about um, your, your the practice is actually currently looking for a new member. And I think that's in part um, due to the success of having you as a functional medicine health coach on their team. So. Um, Please, it's just, uh, could you describe a little bit about what you actually do um, with mm -hmm. the practice? And a bit, just a little bit more detail. Yeah, sure. So um, we've tried many different um, uh, ways of practicing in clinic. Uh, and we've found that the best way is to uh, have a collaborative approach to care. So that is a practitioner working with a health coach. And in our setting, the... Um, I guess it's like this unlimited um, care type model. So people can access a support whenever they need it uh, through their through their health coach, and it's it's um, when a patient first comes in, they come in for the four hour appointment, uh, and usually I would be greeting that um, that patient, building up some rapport. Um, developing a relationship and stuff like that. But then also I'm coming in um, at the end of the appointment so that the practitioner, the patient and the health coach is all on the same page as far as the treatment plan moving forward um, and, and what needs to be delved into a little bit further um, uh, from there. So as far as just the coaching goes, from that point, usually we book in weekly telephone calls. Uh, so it's not a whole lot of face-to-face. Uh, which I found interesting in the beginning because you kind of don't get that feeling, um, but it does actually work really quite well. So about half an hour, 45 minutes, some people need more. Um, really does depend on the case as far as uh, what they need and, and we change to accommodate that. So um, if somebody only needs a 15 minute call, that is fine. If they need an hour, that is also fine. So we're flexible um, around that with the health coaching. But what it also does is it actually makes the practitioner's role a little bit easy because this is middleman, right? And we're learning all of this um, information through FMCA and we're putting that into practice. And 
I guess we're condensing the information that we're getting from the patient and relaying that in a way to the practitioner where they can just jump in to their next consult and they know exactly where that patient is, where they're struggling, where they might need improvement uh, and things like that. So it brings about healing in a, in a faster way. That's probably terrible wording for that, but you understand what I mean. <laughs> Uh, and even just emotional and um, you know aspects and things that you can hear things that maybe the practitioner um you have you know as a functional medicine health coach you have those deeper listening skills thanks so much mm. for sharing that Charlene it's always interesting to hear the um in interactions that happen okay um Jenny uh Jenny Marshall is one of our um she's one of our March 2019 graduates and her website is Jenny's Thoughts, Insights from a Healing Soul. And Jenny, you have a, I would describe it as a jaw-dropping personal health journey of losing over 100 kilograms with the support of your friend and functional medicine doctor. And I recall you once saying that you found acceptance and non-judgment, which led to your healing. So what ways does the coach approach that's taught within FMCA align with what you discovered and are now using with your own clients? Hello. So basically, um, particularly with obesity, there's a lot of shame attached and society isn't very accepting. But what I found is that my friend who is into the functional medicine drew alongside me and cared for me as a person. And what I discover is that I mattered to her and it wasn't just about um, doing the right thing and being directed. It was about finding the whole me, healing me and me finding acceptance. And then I could choose my way out, choose my own journey out of this with some advice if I wanted it. So the main thing that happened for me was that I felt that I was loved and valued. And that was, for me, the stepping stone to coming out of morbid obesity, which I had been in since a child. So it's been an incredible journey. And functional medicine, I found, it. she actually recommended I do the course because she said, it's you. She said, it's what you've done. And it's what your journey. And I really love the fact that there's connection with um, other people in the course but also with my clients I can connect with my clients I have permission to draw alongside them to be like a friend to be with them in their journey and not to direct not to manipulate or any of those things but simply be with them and encourage them to find their own way out but the main point is making the client feel that they are valuable and they have the skills within them to care for themselves and to and to love themselves and from that position then I found for myself I could then make healthy decisions because I was worth it and that's the way I'm with my clients because I want them to know that I, they matter to me and they're valuable and then they can make healthy decisions because they're valuable enough to do that they're worth something and functional medicine really emphasizes the value of the client really emphasizes the significance of the relationship we have with the client and in my own life that is so true that is exactly what I went through and it was the answer to so much trauma in my life and it, it, I just love functional medicine for that reason the the coaching in it covers the whole person not just what you do this or to do that you, you know people aren't motivated and they say no they're valuable they're cared for and we're interested in them. Thank you so much for sharing that, Jenny. You've got such an, you know, an amazing story. And um, I'm sure people will want to know more about your um, health journey. It really is incredible. Um, it's been um, wonderful. It's been informative to hear about all these diverse ways um, that you're all using your functional medicine health coaching skills. Um, and I think those skills are coming in useful no matter what you're doing. You know, I'm sure that Linda, you're using your skills on an everyday um, basis. And, um, and it's, it's amazing to see this work and 
those of all our graduates and it continues to inspire and impact and encourage the others who are also um, following their own unique path and calling. Uh, Linda, did you want to add something just now? Well, I do just want to, uh, well, one, I, I just want to say um, I'm not doing her cancer on my own. Um, I certainly still have this enormous um, FMCA network who support me there. So there are more FMCA members in Hakansa than there are from any other organisation. But look, I do want to say, I, I acknowledge what, um, what Jenny was saying about, for most people, it's about um, accepting that they're worthy, um, not just from other people, but from themselves. And there is the FMCA approach to behaviour change is centred around that very concept. And just a very, a, a tiny little story, if I may. Um, but when you first go uh, to, when you first get in the course, and I mean, I'm a clinical hypnotherapist and, you know, I've had a few careers and I've been around the block and a bit old. And, um, and you know, but you have to have five coaching sessions. And I thought, oh, you know, what do I need to be coached? about you know like oh well we'll see and it was such an amazing journey for myself that really um changed uh, you know we just worked on I ended up with two goals that I I worked on in those for the duration of the course I'm still doing those two things that are so good for me and so even for ourselves on that coaching journey, um, it actually changes the way we are in our own lives, as well as the lives of the people that we love and, mm -hmm. and the people in our families and our friends, as well as the people who we end up working with in a professional relationship. And um, so it is truly behaviour change from that FMCA um, base is just wonderful. And I think it's a, in a word you're saying that it's transformative. And I'm glad you shared that just now because I was about to ask you that one thing you appreciated most about your <laughs> But what I'd like to also add here is that um, we're at, we actually have live training sessions throughout the whole year now. So can you imagine it's increased the, the actual um, opportunities to be coached with your colleagues as well um, has grown exponent exponentially. Um, and all of that is part of the transformative experience that students have at FMCA. Um, the, well, I can start with you again, just to ask if there is um, anything else that you'd say is that one thing that you appreciated the most um, about your experience at FMCA, um, if you want to add anything else, and then I'll ask everyone else and, and, and hand back. <laughs> Oh, I think that um, that's it, is that it actually, it changed my life for my family and, and for me as well, as the incredible difference that it made um, in my client's life. And, and uh, I, I hear what Sam is saying, and that is um, what's happening in New Zealand. That then draws a line at the base. And everything that we learn at FMCA is such a standard above that that so we do know we can honestly say to people there is more and it's backed by science and it's backed by research and um you know the outcomes are measurable when you go the extra mile That's thank it. you so very much thank you so sam what would you say um is the one thing that you appreciated the most about your experience at fmca um I guess for me, the the biggest thing was for me coming in was suddenly realizing that um, I'm not going to be fixing people was an enormous an enormous thing. You go into this thing because you want to help people get better, and 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 you're pretty quickly confronted with the fact that actually people need to get themselves better, and you're just there to kind of help. And like um, Jenny said, um, you know honor that person and, and enable them to find out what's going on inside of them. And, and the road that led me to FMCA and then 
like we said, going through that own journey yourself while you're learning how to do that for other people is just an amazing experience from a personal um, level, getting that. And, and, and from speaking to other people, the extra, the extra information that you seem to get through the FMCA um, is definitely, definitely well and truly there as far as a lot of that physiological function and, and that understanding around that root cause and and it, it has to be the way that that medicine goes in the future you know it, it has to be a completely mainstream thing in in 20 30 years time because the current system is not working and this system clearly is and so um i think that it's really really important that that we've got that knowledge but that we we're, we're given all those tools just to really honor the client and allow them to be themselves. So, yeah, I think from what you're saying as well, the, we've seen how much progress we've made already, and we know that there's more to come, and um, it's going in the right direction. So thanks for sharing that. Um, Charlene, how about you? What's the one thing you appreciated the most about your experience at FMCA? I'm not sure that it could just be one thing. It's probably... <laughs> 16 other things um it's it's got to be the the lifelong friendships um that were made through um just doing the course um and and that's aside from the healing that I experienced personally and my son experienced from all of those learnings as well so I guess if I was going to summarize I, functional medicine is the future of healthcare. I don't think there's any doubt about that. Um, I think in Melbourne in particular, um, at the moment, I'm seeing really big growth, um, hence why we're looking for health coaches at the moment in Melbourne. Um, and excitingly, I do have a, a local doctor who's um, uh, referring um, people to me now as well. So I feel like this is the beginning of a wave of healthcare in this country. And I'm hoping that, um, you know, it's it's just going to keep catching on. Thanks, Charlie. And Jenny, um, the one thing you appreciated the most about your experience at FNCA? Well, as uh, Charlene says, there actually is more than one thing. <laughs> um, <laughs> The thing that I enjoyed a lot was the relationship and the fact that we had a bond and the fact that FMCA encouraged that bond. It encourages the connection with the client. It encourages us to be real, be very real about ourselves. And in that way, when we're caring for people, you're actually healing ourselves, even in our own journey. Our own journey can continue and go on and on. And we're not an expert. And we are human, like everybody else. And just as I've walked this walk where I've slowly discovered who I am and who I truly am, and there could make, therefore could make good decisions for me, FMCA, the course helps us to draw others out and to enable others to find who they are, to love them, whatever they present, to give them understanding and to encourage them to keep going. And I think it's that whole relationship, that whole connection that the coaching encourages. And I think that is the most important thing. And I think it's the only way to go because when I look at um, my history and my family and where I was at, where it was always you're doing right or you're doing wrong or you're bad for what you're doing, which is often the feeling you have when you've left a doctor in an office, of stand, you know, a regular doctor, um, what really matters is the per the doctor is human to you or the person caring for you is a human and they are equal to you then you think you are of value then when you feel heard and understood and that is what fmca encourages thank you for those words of wisdom jenny it was a lovely way to end thank you to, to all of you and i'll hand back to jen thank you Minaz. Um, and thank you to all of, all of you for your insights and for sharing your experience. Um, as I touched on before, we've just opened our enrollment for our next class, which will be in March, 2021. Um, you'll be receiving a recording of this webinar and a link to the, our website will be included. 
We encourage you to engage with us and let us know how we can support you. We have a staff of admissions team members that are able to meet on Zoom. We have lovely Shelly, who is unfortunately not with us at the moment, but I encourage you that there are times available that would be convenient. Um, and she's based in Australia as well. Uh, I want to share a tiny tidbit that's very important. It's not tiny, actually, it's very special and big. The standard tuition for FMCA is $7,997 US. Um, and you can find more details about our payment plans that we offer in our info packet on our website. And I'm just now gonna add that into the chat. But I do want to let you know that some exciting news that through our association with Akanza, we're able to offer a $1,000 discount to members of the association. The student membership cost of their association is $70 in Australian dollars and a link to Hakanza will be provided in the webinar recording email we'll be sending you. All Hakanza members are encouraged to reach out to FMCA and ask that a special registration link be shared with them. That would be important to realize. And members will provide their Hakanza membership number as proof of membership. Linda, do you have anything else about this that you'd like to add? Uh, no, I just, it, that is an incredible offer and um, we're so thankful that FMCA agreed to that. And um, not, a, I mean, you also, you get um, the opportunity to listen to our webinars while you're going through the course, even a, as a student member. And then we love it when you finish FMCA and then you become a professional member with us and um, it's wonderful. So thank you very much to FMCA for the opportunity for people to get that important discount um, because $70 Australian isn't a lot when you get $1,000 US. Um, it's really worthwhile. Thanks. Mm. Thank you, Linda. Um, and I just wanna say thank you to all of you for joining us. We encourage you to reach out. You can email us at admissions at functionalmedicinecoaching.org or schedule an appointment with one of our admissions team members by visiting our website. I just put it in the chat. Uh, we look forward to hearing from you. Together, we can make a big difference in the lives of people around the world with the effective combination of health coaching and functional medicine. Thank you so much. <laughs>